Behind us on the anti-gravity treadmill, Tom's currently running in a Martian environment, so we've managed to drop um, the gravity environment on that treadmill um, by equating the air in there, um, equating the pressure in there, to have him simulated running on Mars. Um, so he'll find that very comfortable, uh, increased stride length um, and uh, a reduced in frequency of steps lengths. But he's, he's, he'll find that very hard when he comes back to an Earth environment and he'll feel like he's got an elephant on his back in terms of the amount of weight that suddenly comes back onto him. So I'm Associate Professor Adam Hawkey and I'm Head of Sports Science and Performance here at Silent University. I'm a biomechanist um, and I'm primarily interested in musculoskeletal health. Um, so I've been working with NASA on projects since 2001 uh, looking at ways of maintaining astronaut health, primarily looking at bone health uh, and muscle loss um, and applying this in an Earth gravity environment um, with those suffering from osteoporosis. And I've also been lucky enough to work with Russian, South Korean, Japanese uh, and European Space Agency astronauts um, and looking at a range of countermeasures uh, and exercise interventions for long duration spaceflight. Getting astronauts into space is a complicated process, both from a, a rocket science perspective, but also from a human biology perspective. Um, so we need to tackle certain issues um, to take astronauts on long duration spaceflight. Some of these involve using such equipment as uh, treadmills, um, similar to the one we have behind us going there, um, and looking at ways of maintaining astronaut health and fitness. Entering into a microgravity environment such as we have on the International Space Station um, brings with it a lot of challenges, primarily um, because we take loading off the body so there's no gravity and what happens is the muscles and bones start to degrade and we start to lose integrity and we start to lose strength. Um, so the biggest challenge is, is, is maintaining those levels. Um, so during spaceflight, astronauts lose around about a percent of bone every month and around about 3% of muscle mass. Um, so the training that we look at doing for astronauts is around about two and a half hours every day, um, six days a week, um, two and a half hours every day. Uh, and that involves a mixture of cardiovascular training, so the things that you would do on a treadmill or a rowing machine or a bike, um, but also resistance training. So we do simulated weight training um, to help with the musculoskeletal system problems. The training programs that we use on the International Space Station are very similar to what you do in your local gym. The difference is because if you were running on a treadmill in space, you would float away from it. So we have to tie astronauts down onto those systems. So travelling to Mars will take us around six to nine months. Um, and then because of the orientation of the planets, we'd have to spend a year on Mars uh, and then spend another six or nine months getting back. So there's two different challenges really with a mission to Mars, um, a human mission to Mars. The first is trying to combat that bone and muscle loss. Um, during those travelling periods. When we arrive on the planet Mars, we will be exposed to around about a third, just over a third of Earth's gravity. So the hope is that we'll be able to try and regenerate some of that bone and muscle tissue um, back to a healthy level. Um, but the other issue is moving around. Because the Mars Martian gravity is much lower, we'll be able to move around much more freely and running will feel rather strange. Um, longer stride lengths, um, less strides per minute, but also what will happen is the body will lean forward to compensate from the change in gravity uh, and we'll find ourselves running on our toes uh, rather than running flat footed or on a heel to toe action like we would normally do on a treadmill or on Earth. What we found from long duration space flight on International Space Station and Space Station Mir, the Russian space station, um, was that astronauts usually take around about the same time to recover as they spent in space. So if an astronaut spent a year in space, it would take them about a year to regain that muscle and that bone. Um, so a two-year mission to Mars potentially could see that, that same process, um, although we might have a little bit of respite from that year on Mars and be able to regenerate um, some systems then. But getting back, it will be a, a tailored program um, to encourage uh, muscle development. Um, and actually, you might find that astronauts need to be re-educated in how they walk and how they move um, back on, Earth, on Earth's gravity. So the application of some of this research can be used in an Earth environment to look at tackling conditions like osteoporosis, so bone loss, but also looking at things like sarcopenia, muscle loss, so people that are recovering from injury or illness, long-term bed rests. Um, this technology, hopefully, will enable us to look at tackling those, those social and economic and health-related problems. Um, so short-term missions to Mars um, will cause us some significant problems in terms of uh, bone and readaptation. Um, but we should be able to come back relatively healthy uh, as long as we tackle the countermeasures. Uh, the issue that we have is if people are staying on Mars for generations, uh, then they will evolve in a reduced gravity environment and therefore there's a, a very good chance that they won't be able to come back to Earth um, because their bone and their muscle would have generated in a, a non-gravity environment or reduced gravity environment and therefore Earth will become a strange environment 
and when they come back they may actually have fractures to their vertebrae or their femurs, their leg bones, um, because they're just not used to that kind of gravity level. So long term, and although people from Earth may be able to travel to Mars, people from Mars may not be able to come back to Earth.